What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Just M if you're new here. Today I wanted to give you guys a little bit of inspiration when it comes to online shopping. More and more folks are shopping online and there are more and more options out there as well. It's hard to tell what's good, what's not, what's tried and tested. So I thought it would be good to give you guys a list of some of the places that I like to shop at when I look online, what kinds of pieces these websites are known for so hopefully this is helpful in giving guys a little bit of new ideas of where to shop so without further ado let's get right on into the video when i do my online shopping i typically like to group websites based off of the price point based off of the types of clothing that they tend to offer and I have kind of grouped the ones I want to share with you guys into three buckets. The first is my trendy affordable websites. These are the types of places I like to go when I'm not looking to spend too much to maybe try out a specific trend. I also like to shop these websites, especially when I am preparing for vacation and I know that I won't necessarily wear these pieces over and over again. And so I'm okay to spend a little bit less for a lower quality piece, but still being able to photograph that and look cute at the same time. So to start, one of my favorite websites is Princess Polly for trendy pieces. I unfortunately am not sponsored <laughs> to say this, but I know a lot of videos have been promoting Princess Polly. I actually think that they're worth the hype. They are a little bit on the higher end of fast fashion websites, but I own a lot of different items from them and never had really any complaints. Typically like to shop at Princess Polly for their dresses and skirts. I know they also do great pants as well. I have not tried any pants from them, but I think that would be also a great place if you're looking for something a little bit more trendy like a cargo pant or something. My next place I like to look at is Urban Outfitters. This is I think a classic. I think they do really great graphic tees and vintage looking t-shirts. The other section I like to shop from Urban is their accessory section. A lot of my sunglasses and accessories are actually from Urban. They're just super affordable, very easy. You know, you don't have to worry about it when you're on vacation, which is great. So I highly recommend checking Urban out. I know it used to be such a huge store when I was in junior high and high school, but don't sleep on them, you know? They are coming out with some really cute stuff. A few other places I like to shop at, maybe less often. One of them is H&M. I think they do really great basic pieces, like neutral colored stuff, especially for the fall and winter time. I think their knits are actually pretty good for the price point. Zara is another one if you're looking for something extremely trendy and pieces that you may have seen on the runway. I think they're kind of known for imitating like different designer pieces in that way. So I've seen a lot of like Jacques Mousse inspired stuff there and even like Valentino or Versace. If you have something in mind that you're trying to recreate that you've seen from a designer, I think Zara is a great place. I just personally don't like the fit of Zara clothes on my body, so I don't love shopping from them anymore. But I think if the fit is right, Zara is definitely a great option. The last few trendy affordable places I'll talk about, one is ASOS. ASOS is kind of like an e-commerce marketplace, so they have you know, their own brand, but they also have a bunch of other brands as well. Specifically, I like to shop at ASOS for accessories as well, and also swimsuits. I find that ASOS actually has some really cute swimsuits. I bought like a really nice one piece from them. They also have some really nice like accessories like jewelry and necklaces and things like that. I also think that they have really good like inclusive sizing. So if you're petite, if you're tall or a plus size, I think that they offer specific lines catered to that. And a lot of their items actually have those extra sizing, which is really great. A few other like e-commerce focused websites one is misguided, the other one's Toby. I think they are 
pretty similar in the sense that they are similar in price point. I feel like there's always sales going on, so you can definitely take advantage of that. Misguided, I've actually bought um, quite a few dresses from them, so it's kind of like my go-to when I'm looking for evening attire or if I'm going to a wedding and need a dress. I think those are really great options that are also pretty affordable as well. The next category for me is the classic slash basics category. And this one I think is pretty self-explanatory. I feel like there are a lot of great brands that do classics really well. Just a few of my favorites here. One is Mango. I think that they have just you know, a little bit better, better quality compared to Zara. They also focus on a lot of workwear. So if you are looking for workwear, if you're a corporate girly, I think Mango is always a great option to look for like button up shirts, blouses, blazers, and coats. Another one that's also very similar is Arquette. They are more of a Scandinavian based brand and a lot of their pieces are very simple but very elevated in terms of the material and the feel of the clothing piece. I think they do simple really well but they also like to add a little bit of a twist and I've seen a lot of pieces that I haven't seen necessarily elsewhere. So I think Arquette is a great one if you are more of a neutral like classic gal but you want to also inject a little bit of fashion and design into your everyday style as well another one of course is aritzia i think if you are a canadian gal or if you are you know anyone actually aritzia is just super popular for their basics their babaton contour line and their sculpt knit lines are especially popular but i think that they always just have really great quality i don't want to spend too long on aritzia i feel like a lot of girls know about it but that's also somewhere I like to look, especially if I'm looking for a basic piece. The last one I'll talk about is Skims. I think Skims made their mark with their loungewear, but they are transitioning into more of your everyday casual wear as well. I know that Skims does a lot of really great bodysuits, and that's why I put them in this category because a lot of those bodysuits are very neutral, skin tone colored, and um, very suitable for everyday basic wear. So Skims would definitely be another one if you have not checked them out already. So the third category that I'd like to talk about is what I call the elevated design category. These are websites that I think are a little bit more premium. So this is where I typically go if I'm looking for something that is a little bit more elevated than your everyday day-to-day -day retail website and if I'm looking for pieces that are a little bit more unique, that has a little bit more of a design element to it. I do think though, like you don't need to spend a lot of money. There are a couple of affordable options in this list. One more affordable website that I think falls within this category is Oakenfort. If you're a Canadian, I think you may have heard of them. I think they are a Korean based or they have like a Korean aesthetic about them in their pieces but I typically find that pieces that they have are just slightly different from what I would find in like your regular fast fashion retailer. I think their pieces are a little bit more thoughtfully designed and they're still fairly affordable and they actually do a lot of sales as well. So Oaken 4 is definitely one that I would check out if you have not heard of them already. The other one that's a little bit more affordable in my perspective is Source Unknown. So this one is a new one that I've recently learned about. I think they're also Korean based, at least when I bought my stuff, the package came from Korea. But this one's a cool website. They call themselves Source Unknown because they source a lot of these pieces from independent small designers that don't really have labels, hence the name. But I think it's really cool that they are still bringing, you know, a lot of very fashionable, like, design forward elements into the pieces at a fraction of the cost. So Source Unknown, I think, 
if you're looking for something a little bit more unique, but still, I think, like not willing to spend designer money, this is a great alternative. So a few other ones that are a little bit more on the premium side, one of them is Frankie Shop. So this is a New York based brand. They also stock a bunch of other designers as well, and they have their own label. They were the ones that really popularized like the muscle tank like the oversized blazer um, they had a lot of great fashion moments actually with their pieces their pieces are still considered premium but definitely not luxury level so if you have a little bit more cash to spend frankie shop has a lot of really great outerwear jackets i think their trousers are also super good so really great for i think like if you are looking to invest in your workwear or if you're looking to look a little bit more elevated and put together the next one i want to talk about is orson iris it's actually a small american brand i believe out of New York and they have a lot of kind of like romantic ballerina-esque aesthetic to them that I really like. I personally think they're a little bit pricey. I haven't had the chance to purchase anything from them yet but I really do love their pieces. They're very thoughtfully designed and very beautiful and I would love to be able to set aside money to purchase an item from them but it's something that's on the wish list and hopefully we'll make that happen soon. So if you are looking for something that's a little bit more unique, small designer label focused, I think Orson Iris is a great place to check out. Koss is another one that I recommend checking out. They're actually quite popular in Europe, but I don't think they have as many stores in the US or in North America. They're actually a sister brand of H&M, but they're a little bit more upscale, a little bit more um, premium. So Cause I think has really awesome menswear and also women's wear, but I think menswear, I particularly feel like they have really great stuff that are a little bit more better quality, more well tailored. Low Classic is a Korean based brand. I got one of my favorite like wool coats from them. I think they do tailoring really well, especially for like an Asian frame. I know they do really great blazers and trousers as well. So really great brand to check out if you haven't heard of them. And then lastly, I want to mention Philippa K. They are a Swedish brand and they also do really great like basics, workwear, more, you know, upscale like look super put together kind of vibe. I haven't gotten anything from them yet, but I'm kind of putting them on my list so that I can make sure I am shopping them and seeing if there's anything that catches my eye. But their overall aesthetic, I just really align with. It's just very clean, very minimal, and just focused on good quality. So Philippe K is definitely another one I would check out. So that is all the brands that I wanted to share with you guys today. I don't think I covered everything, but these were just the ones that were top of mind for me when I think about like doing some online shopping on my own. So hopefully you guys found that helpful. If you guys have any go-to websites that I haven't listed that you love, please make sure to leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear about them and learn about them. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.